breaking news while you are sleeping. Two more co-defendants in the Georgia 2020 election RICO case has turned themselves in. This is a live look this morning at the Fulton County Jail, where David Schaefer and Kathy Latham were booked overnight just after 2 a.m. That's according to jail records. We just checked in the last 10 minutes. They have not been released from custody. Their bond, both set at $75,000. So David Schaefer, a former head of the Georgia Republican Party, and Kathy Latham, a former chair of the Coffee County Republican Party. They are both accused of taking part in that so-called fake elector scheme, where 16 Republicans signed documents falsely claiming Donald Trump won Georgia's 2020 election. Over the next two days, we're going to see the most action yet in the election RICO case against former President Trump and his 18 co-defendants. As of this morning, four co-defendants have turned themselves into the Fulton County Jail. Several of them have received bond and are now ready to surrender. Just hours ago, we received mugshots from attorney John Eastman and former bail bondsman Scott Hall. They both surrendered on Tuesday at the Fulton County Jail, and we expect to get the mugshots on those two overnight surrenders, Latham and Schaefer, a little bit later today. We've also learned that Rudy Giuliani is expected to appear in town today. He, of course, is the former mayor of New York City and former attorney to Mr. Trump. Giuliani is set to meet with the district attorney's office to talk about his bond. As of late last night, attorneys for 12 of the 19 defendants had secured bonds, but seven defendants had not so far. After all the defendants surrender and choose whether to be bonded out, they will have a chance to stand before a judge. They will formally enter their pleas of guilty or not guilty. Again, the deadline to turn themselves in for everyone is noon on Friday. Meanwhile, former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows has filed an emergency court order to delay his arrest. Meadows has already asked for the case to be moved out of Fulton County to federal court. He is now citing a hearing set for next week about that request as the reason he should be able to postpone his arrest order here in Fulton County. So we know this is a lot of information. We're continuing to pull off the layers bit by bit for you. If you want to stay up to date, all you have to do is text the word RICO to 404-885-7600. We'll send you everything you need to know right to your phone.